So as a special intro before the intro, you will want to stay to the very end. Not only is there a really cool drive down Snake Alley, Weingard is giving a special discount to the first 25 folks that take advantage of $10 off their most popular data plan, 10 gigabytes in the US. You get $10 off most popular data plan for the first 25 folks using the special coupon code that you can find at the end of the video. Um, as you guys know, we are all about learning and sharing and you decide what's best for you. That's how we roll at Go Small Live Large. Today, I'm actually at the Weingard headquarters in Burlington, Iowa. We got a couple of special guests today. We're gonna to talk about why Weingard, did I install mine correctly? How to use it? And we got a bunch of, uh, got a couple of three guests you guys wanna meet. So stay tuned, let's roll. Like I promised you, we got a couple of special guests today. This is Grant. So Grant's the CEO of Weingart. Really appreciate you joining us today. Weingart's a pretty storied company. Tell us a little bit about Weingart, what makes it special? Yeah, John Weingard, like many innovative inventors, started Weingart Company in his garage, and he wanted to receive uh, signals from a broadcast in Chicago, Illinois. And so he used his background to invent an antenna that was able to pick up those signals from that far away. From there, of course, everybody else wanted to watch uh, TV when that was the only way to get their information that they wanted. And the company grew from there. Well, that is great. Well, we're excited to talk to the, the technical part of it with uh, Jared and the team. So again, thanks again for making yourself and them available. Um, Thank you. Today we are talking with Jared. Jared's Scott. kind of the technical guy, right? I am. I am the product manager for all the mobile wireless as well as mobile over the air products here at Weingard. So we got the heavy guns out and I'm really excited because we were talking about this for a few minutes. Um, I use my Weingard a little differently than some and it turns out probably not as good as I could. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump up um, on the roof and we are going to talk some technical stuff up on top. Perfect. Let's roof. go. Let's go. All right, always exciting up on the roof. Ah, scary as it is. You made it. I made it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> but you might see less of me and more of Jared, which is probably good anyway. So we're obviously on the roof, and what we want to talk about is this right here. So this was my first modification on my Travato. Jared's just here to kind of walk us through the, some of the technology, the hardware. It sounds like I'm not using mine as I should be already. So um, well, kind of give us the rundown. What are we looking at? And I'll just kind of get in a more safer spot. Yeah, so, so essentially, you know, when we came out with this design, we wanted to keep it, you know, lower than the, the air conditioning unit, just to be the lowest, uh, not the highest, I guess, point on the RV, which is definitely key. Um, and we kept it under a dome, right? Uh, we just pulled off a branch up here, right? So we know that RVs, all types of RVs hit, you know, branches as they, as they navigate you know, wherever they go. So we did that in this in this great housing. Um, again, when we do it in a dome style, we can we can house different antennas, different technologies, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, down below. But what you've got here is a, is a Wi-Fi extender and 4G extender. And the way you described what you're using it is you are using it as a Wi-Fi extender to connect to your Verizon jetpack. Uh, that's probably not ideal. Now it does work, obviously, to, to hook up the other devices within your RV but to get better performance, to get better speeds, uh, it'd be nice to, to utilize the SIM card slot that's on the dome, uh, on the base of the dome that you have over here. Jared was just up on the roof. On this side, you can see the ladder, right? Pretty cool. Um, so apparently I've been doing this kind of wrong the whole time. So I owe some of you an apology. Um, I do have a SIM card in there and I didn't think I did. I tried to do that and I don't know what I was doing. That's why I come to the experts, that's right? That's right, we'll take care um, of you. So Jared's gonna make sure I'm hooked up correctly and then we'll do a little test on you know, the, the Weingart system versus the Jetpack. And then again, you guys just decide what works best for it because um, that's why we're here. You know, I'm not embarrassed to see that goofed up. Um, you guys correct me all the time, which is awesome. And, uh, you know, we learn, we share. You decide what's best for you. All right, we're gonna check out the app. Perfect, let's go. So the next step is we've got the system turned on. The system's turned on. We can go ahead and connect to, uh, actually don't connect, to, oh, go ahead and open the app. Okay. Let's make sure you're signed in. And now what you're gonna do is ah, it's gonna search for a device, which, Right now, because we turned the Wi-Fi off, it's not gonna find any devices. So what I'd like you to do now, go ahead and uh, turn your Wi-Fi back on. Okay, so then if I'm using, so if I've been to an RV park and I've been using their Wi-Fi, now I'm out moving and I'm boondocking a Harvest host, for example, um, and I want to use the SIM card that's installed in my wine guard. Yes. Which I currently have, but it's not been activated. 
Correct. So it has zero data on it. Correct. Right. So that's my error again. So I would just connect internet source and then it connects uh, like 4G. You'd for, go to 4G. 4G. Yep. So I hit done and then accept. And mine's not going to bring back a result. It's, it's going to say not connected not or connected. access not denied. Yeah. Yep. So, but um, the minute you have data, which you could purchase data over, you know, of your Wi-Fi connection, you were just connected, you could go in and create an account simple instructions you'd be done in five minutes uh you could purchase data and and then switch to 4g and within two minutes you'd be really? okay. on the, the wine garden network at that point all right well thank you uh, for that technical overview uh again i stand corrected on a couple points so that's awesome um so we have a vip we want to meet perfect yep Let's daphne all right daphne. here's our special vip hi scott daphne you are so amazing she's been so patient with me she's put all this together Tell us, who are you, Daphne? Well, I am Vice President of Marketing here at WineGuard, having a load of fun doing this job. I haven't been here that long, so it's been probably a little over 90 days, you guys, so do not throw any questions at me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> kidding! <laughs> so tell me, um, so we've covered a lot today, probably overwhelmed you a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, to make it real simple, where can people go to find out more about technology, mm -hmm. RV choices, or yep. you know, systems? You can always go to www.wineguard.com. We have a wealth of information on our website. So you can go there to find out about our dealers and distributors where you can purchase Connect 2.0s, who can install them. If a dealer does not have the particular product, they will find it for you. So you never yeah. have to worry about that. And so that's why we usually send people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I love that. So. Purchase from a dealer or um, online store, right? Mm -hmm. um, DIY, I, Jared says it's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'm not very handy. I really don't like heights. So I'd probably yeah. take it to a dealer yep. so they could either provide it for you and install and it. And install it, yeah. exactly. But what advice would somebody kind of new to the industry, what, what advice would you give somebody? Well, first of all, I would say pay particular attention to your needs and make sure that you spend some time doing research and find out what, you know, what size RV you need. There's several classes to fit your needs where you need a really big one or a small one like you we have a smaller size, which I love, it's perfect. And so I would say do that. And then pay particular attention um, to the equipment that you buy and make sure that you get best in class. I like working for West Weingarten because mm. they are best in class. And they, we really spend a lot of time trying to make sure that all the smart wireless solutions that we provide are the best and that it makes the RV experience the best for our customers yeah. and for just people in general. So a lot of people like Apple, they design in the USA, but they build overseas. Mm -hmm. You guys design mm -hmm. and build right here. Mm -hmm. right? We absolutely, on this site where I am standing, we build everything here. And we are very, very proud of that, made in the US. And so of course, you know, there are, we'll see, we have little stickers and they say made in the US and there are some parts which obviously everybody, there's one or two particular things we cannot get in the US and that is not any different right. than anybody yeah. else. But we are made right here. We're very proud of that. And we hope that everyone can Iowa. see that in our in our design. We pay a lot of attention and care to the products that we provide. Daphne, thank you again for thank you. helping thank me you. set this up. You did an amazing job. Thank um, you. A lot of work. And um, the team did a great job. So just that's off. Great team. I'm really excited to try this new um, SIM card in my wine card. I'm really excited. You and guys, back. keep him honest, OK? I know. All I do, <laughs> trust me. <laughs> that's the beauty of it. All, All right. right. Thank, thank you. you. Take care. So don't go away just yet. Snake Alley Tour is coming up. You don't want to miss that. Hey, it was really great making that video. Really enjoyed uh, working with Daphne and Jared. They did so much work for us. Really appreciate that. And then to meet the CEO of WineGuard, how cool is that? Um, Grant's just a really a first class guy and got a first class team there making first class products. I'm really thrilled to have a, a wine guard on my roof. Hey, if you learned anything, sure, I would appreciate a thumb up. That helps me know that you liked it, lets, lets others know that you liked it, lets YouTube know that you like it, and then they share it out. Comment below, what is your setup with Wi-Fi? What recommendations do you have for Wi-Fi? I learned some new things. I don't really have my thing set up correctly, but I actually can't really go buy what I have now. And that's the problem with Wi-Fi and Sailor, particularly for RVers. It's constantly changing. My jetpack, which is not available anymore, is my lifesaver. Uh, WineGuard is a really cool system. If I could find one that was unlimited data and put that SIM card in, I would do it in a second. But it's not available from any carrier that I'm aware of. Comment below. Let me know what your Wi-Fi situation is, what your carrier situation is. Am I missing something? Maybe you have a tip. As we do here, we learn, we share, you decide what's best for you. With that, let's jump into the tour of Snake Alley. You're gonna love this. Would you take your rig down a street like this? 
You can't do it in any other kind of an RV that I'm aware of, except a van, a Class B camper van. Let's go to Snake Alley. So you know that really crooked steep uh, street in San Francisco, right? Not in San Francisco. Oh my God, I don't know. This is Snake Alley, Burlington, Iowa. That is really cool. 1894, Snake Alley. So we did it. We did it. World's crookedest street in San Francisco. Nope. Burlington, Iowa. Built in 1894. Snake Alley. Unbelievably crooked. Five half curves and two quarter curves that span 275 feet. It's a 21% grade. 1,100 degrees of turns. And Lily did it.